Hey guys, Vincent here. Welcome back to another how to video. Today I'll be showing you how to use chain commands in Minecraft. So, what you need to have is cheats, of course. How else are you going to get command blocks? As you get yourself a chain command block, all you need to do is place it down, change this to chain, and there you go. You did it. Alright, the video is. No, I'm just kidding. The video is not over. So, chain commands are really cool. Once I learned them, basically all these commands are horrible and they could have been better with these so I might redo all of these in the future but it's confusing and all the videos I watched were confusing and I needed a simpler version and a shorter one so here you go so the first command could be a repeating um, it could be an impulse or a repeat we're gonna have it on the regular one and this one I'm just gonna have ch say hi unconditional and need redstone because I like buttons or a lever who knows the second block can become a chain command so when this one runs this will run just make sure it's a chain and always active same for all of these and when you run this there are all four of these will run so it'll be like hi there welcome to uh, I should have finished my sentence but oh well it's okay so you need to have them always active now unconditional and conditional I'll, I'll go I'll talk about that, that over there but Let's say you don't want to say welcome for some reason. Let's say this command is acting, messing up your, your entire command. You can always turn this off to need redstone. And now welcome won't show up to your thing. So now we go, hello, uh, no, hi there. This one gets skipped and it'll go to this command. So that's a cool thing. I didn't know that. And now we, we'll talk about conditional. So we're going to have hi there. And then this is a this is a conditional type of thing. So if this is true, if this is true, this is conditional. So if this command block here is true, this will run. And if it's not true, this will not run. And then I have an extra command block here that will run no matter what what the outcome is. So if I run it and I have items in my inventory, this should not come up. So it would be, hi, the, um, no, hi there, this is checking my inventory, and then that's not running, and then this runs. But now if I throw out all my horrible items, now it's going to say, hi there, it's going to check, and now it's true. So now this is conditional, and this is true, so now this will run. So now it's saying your inventory has nothing, and then this command will run because it's also, I mean, this command is basically uh, unconditional and it's gonna run no matter what I could just turn it off and then and, and then it won't run but you know we we'll just leave it on why not and then another small thing I want to show you is that on the top there's arrows so when you run the command it can't go this way it will follow the arrow so this arrow is gonna run this command so this command and then this command so then you can do these weird things like this or you can do this and then here, when you want, you can turn them and just go like this, and basically like make a loop, something like that. I think this work. This is this is how it. This is how it should work. Yep. So go here. It's gonna go to. It's gonna run this command, and then it's gonna turn this way and run this command, and it's gonna turn. And run, and yeah, it's basically a loop now. Now you got yourself a, a loop, that I'm not gonna run, because who knows. I mean, I have nothing in it. I don't want to sit here and write That's how long the video is going to get. So yeah, here it is. There's a few other cool tricks you can do with these. But then this video will become longer. So I'm just going to show you the, the basics. Because the basics basically changes all these commands that I made into like these. And it will be much easier and life, life just goes on. Now also, I, I do want to mention that if you copy these commands, sometimes these things do get changed. So if I take this one, if I, if I, uh, these ones, and if I put them down here, look, it changed. You gotta go back and change them back to conditional. That's just an FYI. So if your commands are not working and your command is not red, you check these buttons to make sure it's con chain, always active, and conditional or unconditional, depending on what you're doing. So yeah. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully this tells you enough about the basics of chain commands they're really cool and I I'm gonna start using them for my future command block tutorials because this 
makes life so much easier. So yeah. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button and hit that like button too. And bye, guys.